Tens of thousands of engineers use New Relic on a daily basis to build and operate their most critical applications and infrastructure using the New Relic One observability platform. I lead the telemetry data platform engineering group responsible for our global public and private cloud infrastructure, our managed services, and the data platform used by all New Relic products, as well as over 300 external integrations. We operate at tremendous scale. The New Relic data platform, also known as NRDB, ingests over 3 billion data points per minute, 125 petabytes of data per month, and we serve over 50 billion web requests per day. And we double that scale approximately every nine months. When I joined New Relic in 2019, our explosive growth led to scalability barriers. We were reaching the point where we could not continue to scale using our existing architecture. It was time to modernize. Behind the scenes, NRDB is a cluster of distributed services built from the ground up for time series telemetry data. A typical large query runs using thousands of CPU cores concurrently while traversing trillions of data points to return answers to our customers in milliseconds. Rather than try to continue scaling our on-premise instance, we wanted the ability to run multiple NRDB clusters in multiple regions. Thankfully, AWS introduced us to an architectural pattern that can unlock continued scaling called cell architecture. A cell architecture is based on the idea that massive scale and parallelization requires components to be isolated from each other. These islands of isolation are called cells. Using fault-isolated cells enables us to operate multiple NRDB clusters concurrently. The cell architecture reduces the impact of failures because a failure in any single cell does not impact other cells. And as the number of cells continues to grow, the blast radius of any incident in a single cell continues to decline. For example, when operating two cells in production, an incident in one cell will impact 50% of your customers. When operating 10 cells, an incident in one cell would impact only 10% of your customers, and so on. Cells are added incrementally as additional hardware capacity is required. By the end of 2019, we had two data platform cells running in our AWS environment, and things were looking good. And then, during a critical holiday period, we had an unexpected traffic spike that caused one of the cells to become overloaded. It was time to put the new architecture to the test. We successfully shifted production traffic on the fly from the unhealthy cell to the healthy cell, while enabling us to continue serving traffic and scale up both cells concurrently. This was a major win because we had no customer impact during the incident. We then proceeded to accelerate our migration. We canceled the lease renewals on our largest data centers, which meant there was no turning back. It was full speed ahead. We chose AWS as our preferred cloud provider due to their breadth of services, global footprint, and the ability to scale to meet our needs. New Relic's architecture makes extensive use of Kafka, containers, microservices, and distributed databases. We wanted to leverage AWS managed services, such as Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service and managed streaming for Kafka. These services combined with the cell architecture would pave the way for our long-term scalability and continued global expansion. Because of the massive amount of data we needed to migrate and the tight integration with all new Relic products, we decided up front to optimize for speed by taking a lift and shift approach. We incrementally migrated data by iterating through each data type and the associated customer accounts. As a result, we were able to migrate 95% of our data ingest in just under one year. Cell architecture provides a lot of flexibility to meet the different needs of our customers. For example, we provision our largest cells with the beefiest compute instances 
and host our customers with the heaviest workloads in those cells. We also have cells tailored to customers in highly regulated industries with stringent security and compliance requirements, such as HIPAA and FedRAMP. We have the ability to pin customers to single cells and isolate them from other customers as needed. And we keep hot spare cells available in the event that we need to quickly shift production traffic or evacuate an unhealthy cell. Customers trust New Relic with their most timely and sensitive data. By relying on a service like EKS, New Relic can focus on our core competencies instead of data center and hardware management. We've now rolled out EKS across our entire fleet, which has enabled us to take advantage of auto scaling across dozens of cells that contain over 20,000 nodes and 150,000 pods. The new architecture has already paid off in major improvements to platform resiliency, performance, and scale. Here are some of the lessons we've learned during our modernization journey. Number one, observability is key. It's important to instrument every part of your stack. The tight integration between AWS and New Relic make observability simple. Number two, don't plan for the happy path. Plan for surprises. Start small and iterate. Our iterative approach enabled us to make adjustments throughout the way. Number three, continuously build new cells. Our cells have a limited lifespan of 90 days. AWS provides the APIs and managed services we need to continuously build and decommission cells. This enables us to take advantage of functionality upgrades, security patches, and other updates that are necessary to keep our fleet up to date. As a result, we've significantly improved our reliability, and we've reclaimed engineering capacity that was previously spent managing infrastructure upgrades. And finally, invest in planning and communication. Cloud migrations are a company sport, and communication is key to winning. It's important to create solid plans, over-communicate, align across engineering, sales, support, finance, and let your customers know what you're doing. So what's next? We're currently architecting new types of cells tailored for other New Relic services. For example, our alerting platform requires data aggregation across multiple cells to ensure the timely and accurate delivery of alerts. We also continue our geographic expansion by building new cells in additional regions, enabling us to take advantage of edge data services and giving our customers more flexibility in performance and data residency. I look forward to the future and a continued successful partnership between AWS and New Relic. Thank you.